All right. Hold on one sec. All right. So I'm going to be comparing um, Mortal Kombat to uh, two home ports, the 32X and the SNES versions. This is the 32X right here. And I'm going to do it differently than I normally do. I'm going to basically do my my thoughts and I'm going to point things out, which I normally don't do. Um, I'm going to go with very easy just so I can make sure, ensure that the, uh, that the footage will be as long as I need it to be. So that's that. And I don't need a million credits, so I'm just going to go with this. I'm not going to do any cheats, none of that. Let's go with that. Okay. So we start here. And uh, first thing I want you to look at uh, with this version is look at the animation of the characters because that's um, a little bit different from the SNES version. Um, so also check out the background because that is not quite the same as the Genesis version of the game. But it is, um, it's very bright green as far as the acid goes in the acid pool. Um, so yeah. That's one of the, uh, quite inaccurate colors in this game. Also, pay attention to the audio in both versions as well. Because there's a difference. There's a few differences. And I'm going to point those out as well. And, uh... Yeah, so, I mean, and also the backgrounds. If you notice something about the dragons. The animations. There are also more dragons. So I'll point that out when, I, when you see it. That there are actually more dragons in the uh, 32X version. Okay, so... I mean, all in all, both versions I find to be just as fun. But, uh... As far as this one goes, I definitely feel it is more accurate to the arcade. But, I mean, it should be even more accurate to the arcade than it is. Um... However, I don't know. It is still fun. To me, it's just as fun as the arcade, but honestly, I'd rather play the arcade. <laughs> But I did have this version as a kid growing up, and uh, I definitely liked it because the first ver home port of Mortal Kombat 2 I had was the Sega Genesis version, and that has got to be one of the worst ports of Mortal Kombat 2, unless you're talking about, you know, <laughs> the thing worse that I can think of is the Sega Master System version, the Game Gear, the Game Boy versions of the game, you know, um, that horrible uh, NES um, homebrew, I think, or was that Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 homebrew, or something like that. There were some homebrews that were awful. Um, so, uh, I just got something in my ear. <laughs> It'll probably show up on the recording as well. Um, also, uh, check out that, uh, is that uh, Druid? I forget the fuck they call that thing, damn it. That thing floating in the background, that guy. Yeah, his animations are a little bit different in the SNES version. Although, at, in the Sega Genesis version, that guy's not even there. Um, yep. And basically, this is really just a polished up uh, Sega Genesis version port. Also want to tell you to note the, the uh, life bars there. Now, let's see. Beat the shit out of this bitch. I just... I don't even... I don't even doing any special moves. I'm just like... Same shit all the time. I feel bad for that, like, Chinese guy or whatever in the back. Alright, so... Yeah. Yeah, easy is easy. A reptile wins. Definitely a better port than the uh, Sega Genesis version, even though it's it is basically the Sega Genesis version, kind of amped up a bit. Um, I think in, in a little bit I'm gonna 
I'm going to turn this off and then turn on the, after this fight, I'm going to turn on the uh, SNES version. I'm just going to quickly switch it. I have it all hooked up um, through the, uh, through a, a switcher thingy, AB switcher or whatever, ABC switcher, whatever you want to call it, one, two, three. Um, and, uh, yeah, so I'm just going to quickly switch over to it after this fight. So that's that. That's the end of that one. I'm just going to turn this off now, and I'm going to switch over. Now, honestly, I already did this video, but um, it uh, got a little screwed up um, because I, I accidentally converted AV to S video, and it looks like shit, so I wanted to have a more accurate um, thing. So now here we are on Super Nintendo. Last time I switched over to the Super Nintendo version, I actually grabbed the Sega Genesis controller. It didn't work out very well. So again, I'm going to be switching to the uh, to a very easy, just to make sure that I get enough play in here. Um, so yeah, so if you know, also the uh, the resolution of the SNES version is actually smaller. At least it looks like, you know, there's a big black bar on the, on the bottom of the screen. Um, so here, in the, the, uh, bleh, acid pool, it's, uh, color's a lot more accurate. Um, they're not all bright green. And, uh, also, if you see the, the life bars, um, they, uh, they don't have the names in them, like the arcade version and the 32X version. So that's uh, something the 32X version does have over the Super Nintendo version. Also, the uh, some of the characters look a little washed out looking. Like they had this weird uh, color look to the colors. And uh, also, you listen to the the music is and the sound is kind of muffled, which isn't completely horrible. It does have like a, it does add a bit of a dark tone, but then on the other hand, it could have been. I don't know if it was a little bright, you know, a little clearer. That would that would have been better. Now, also, so here we are at that. Uh, is that the tomb or whatever the fuck? I can't remember anything. I have amnesia, but uh, you notice there. There you will see that the uh, dragons are not as fluent in their animation, and there are less dragons uh, flying. And now these are things that are pr you probably wouldn't notice when you played, so it wouldn't. I don't know that it would matter that much. You'd have to be someone who stares. I I stared to find this stuff, um, and that's that. Yeah. But also, um, when we get to the next um, match, I wanted to show you the uh, the character animations. If you haven't noticed, are a lot. Uh, well, not, they're not like the Genesis version of Mortal Kombat One, but they're a lot. Uh, they're not as fluent. There's less frames of animation in the characters. They're not bad, but it's there's definitely less frames of animation going on there. Um, and let me see, is there, there's anything else other than oh the uh, the audio clips? If, if you've noticed, they end early. The audio cl clips kind of seem to cancel each other out. And oh that the lag when the computer punches you. So that that's another factor. Okay. So now here's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna shut the fuck up, and I'm gonna let you now pay attention to the footage. See if you notice anything different that I didn't point out. Oh, oh by the way, that that thing in the background floating. I wanted to point that out. <laughs> he doesn't move up and down. Now I shut the fuck up. Oh, you gotta put these headphones down. So I can't shut the fuck up. Round two. Fight. Fight! Oh! 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 
Alright, so I'm, I'm back again. I just wanted to uh, point out that I was going to turn on the 32X version. I fucked up with the uh, raid. <laughs> Oops! But yeah, I'm going to switch now over to the 32X version and again, shut the fuck up and I'll let you watch. And uh, that'll be that. So I'm going to put the headset down now and turn the 32X version on and let you watch that without me fucking yabbering like someone from The View. Oh! 
Round two, fight! Finish him, Reptile wins. Round one, fight! Finish him, 